I recently went to Kuala Lumpur where NVIDIA held an exclusive press event and I was lucky enough to be invited. It was all about the future of gaming with an early look at the insane tech behind the RTX 50 series GPUs. From smoother gameplay to AI driven tools and even some wild stuff like turning PDF into podcast. Yeah. Seriously, I also had the exclusive opportunity to sit down with John Galuli, NVIDIA's tech marketing head, and ask him what all this new tech means for us, gamers, streamers, and creators. What is up, good people? This is Jay. Now let's get started. So I was able to sit down with John to talk about what this new era of AI-powered GPUs really means. First off, I asked John what kind of upgrade gamers can expect if they're coming from an RTX 40 or 30 series GPUs. Like, what's the real world difference? So the 50 series adds a few new technologies. The big ones are DLS for multi-frame generation. Um, a lot of the time, you know, when people are upgrading to, to the new generation, usually they're not coming from the 40 series. So they'll probably be coming from the 30 series or earlier. And so you'll be getting not only the benefits of multi-frame generation, but the performance boosts in rasterized and ray trace performance. You'll also get access to new technologies that are coming like Reflex 2, um, as well as all the technologies like our new transformer model for DLSS, which will work across the range of RTX GPUs. Of course, for those of us who live in fast-paced games like FPS or Battle Royale, we want speed, we want low latency because every millisecond count. So how does the 50 series step things up for competitive players? So we get a generational improvement in performance. So you get higher frame rates. You're probably not going to be using DLSS for frame generation if you're playing a competitive game, but you get the advantage of technologies like Reflex. So Reflex currently is the best way to lower latency in, in a game, which is obviously so important for, um, for, for uh, competitive gamers. We also have our Reflex 2 technology that will be coming soon that lowers latency even further um, through a whole lot of very interesting techniques that make it so your mouse movement is sampled at the absolute last second. Um, and that will be coming in the future uh, in certain competitive games. And that takes latency down even further to, to the point where you really only notice it if you're a very, very competitive gamer. It's quite interesting watching uh, someone like myself who's, you know, my competitive gaming days are behind me. I can't really notice the difference, but once someone who's really into it starts playing around with it, they're like, this is awesome. One of the biggest leaps this generation is visual quality. So I asked John what kind of improvements gamers will actually notice with texts like newer rendering and ray reconstruction. So one of the really important things for us is using AI to make games look better, make them smoother, make them crisper, make them sharper. Um, and so with our new DLSS4 transformer model, um, we've taken what is some, what is a technology that's already really impressive and it made it even more impressive. It's a lot sharper, a lot of texture detail comes through better, and it's all of that DLSS goodness with another level. And this especially works with ray reconstruction where you know, a lot of the time when you ray trace an image and then use uh, super resolution, you can lose some of the fine detail. But with ray reconstruction, it retains this detail and gives you a beautiful crisp image. VLSS4 was also a big focus at the event, and it sounds like it's more than just a resolution bump. So how does it really affect the way gamers feel in real time? Okay, so when you look at a game in terms of performance, there's a whole lot of, uh, there, there, there's sort of three areas you kind of look at. You look at the image quality, you look at the responsiveness or the latency, and you look at the smoothness. And so what DLSS for multi-frame generation does is increase that smoothness. So especially nowadays when we're getting more and more high refresh rate monitors, it's increasing the number of frames uh, presented to the screen which translates into a much, much smoother experience. This combined with the transformer model, which adds that crispness, 
really gives you an unparalleled sort of visual experience. But hey, it's not just about gamers. A lot of us stream or create content too. So I asked John how the GeForce RTX 50 series helps out creators who still want top tier performance. So one of the great things is, you know, if, if, if you're streaming, you, you know, are probably have different requirements to someone who just wants the, the fastest frame rate, the smoothest frame rate. One of the big things that we do is uh, we work heavily on our encoder. So the MV encoder, uh, which now natively supports both AV1 encode and decode, is the best way to get a really high quality uh, streaming experience without it impacting your gaming performance because it's a separate unit. Um, the other thing that's really exciting for uh, video creators is we now have native 422 uh, video support. So you don't need to do any sort of transcoding or, or anything else in order to edit 422 footage, which um, for someone working with raw files is a massive game changer. And speaking of performance, NVIDIA also gave us a sneak peek at some upcoming gaming laptops from our favorite brands, powered by the new GeForce RTX 50 series laptop GPUs. Now, if you've ever owned a gaming laptop, you know the struggle. Battery life is usually the first thing to suffer. You can barely finish a video or even a Zoom call before it's hunting for a charger. Well, these new laptops built on the Blackwell architecture are aiming to change that. They're promising up to 40% more battery life, which is a big deal, especially when you're on the go. And it's not just about lasting longer. With NVIDIA Max-Q technologies like Battery Boost, these laptops intelligently manage power. See, Battery Boost works with NVIDIA Optimus to extend battery life during casual use and then unlock full performance when it's time to fire up a game. So basically, you're getting smart efficiency without sacrificing fun. Now, going back to my questions, before I left, John gave us a peek at something a little different. It's an AI blueprint they're calling PDF to podcast. So naturally, I had to ask what that was all about. Yeah, so, so what PDF to podcast does, it's one of our AI blueprints blueprints, which is a way of almost giving a reference design to people to, to build their own AI applications. Um, most AI applications moving forward are not going to be just one thing. It's not just running ChatGPT. Right. It's running a bunch of different AIs that work together to do really interesting things. So PDF to podcast is an example where you can upload a PDF. Um, it will analyze it with a language model. Uh, it will create a script and then using text to, to speech well, is able to generate a natural sounding conversation, a podcast style conversation between two hosts, uh, talking about the content in that, that PDF that you've uploaded. So really interesting way of, of using AI to you know, analyze and create something new. And just to give you an idea of how it works, check this out. Welcome to our podcast on the latest breakthroughs in gaming technology. I'm your host, Bob. Today, we're joined by Kate, an expert in the field, to explore NVIDIA's revolutionary neural shading technology. Kate, welcome to the show. Thanks, Bob. It's great to be here. So, let's start with this. So, yeah, plenty to be excited about. Whether you're upgrading for better frame rates, lower latency, sharper visuals, or you're just curious how AI is creeping into all corners of our workflow, the GeForce RTX 50 series is shaping up to be a big leap. All in all, I had an amazing time in Malaysia where I met a lot of people and made new friends. Of course, huge thanks to NVIDIA for the invite and to John for sharing all that insights. Well, that is it for us in this video, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Again, my name is Jay telling you to keep that smile, stay positive, rock on, and rock hard.